Hello again, everybody. I'm Jamie. And I'm John. And this is the EAP Society Quick Take Tuesday, where we take a quick take look at a single release or a story or something that's a little too short for our main channel content. And today, we're continuing our looks at single disc FTDs of the non-soundboard variety. We're spreading the love a little bit here. This is Made in Memphis. This is an interesting concept. Rather than focusing exclusively on one session or era, they have collected lots of different times that Elvis recorded in Memphis and yeah. rarities from those times. It goes from 1969 all the way up to 1976. It does indeed. And includes both studio outtakes and a rare home recording. Yeah. So we got pictures of Elvis signing autographs at Graceland on the side there. A good picture of the American Sound Studio underneath the CD tray. Mm -hmm. How I wish that was still standing. Oh, I know, right? And on the back, we've got a, an earthy green. Yeah. They really were in, lo they were in love with these uh, kind of neutrals uh, uh, you know, for a while. Yeah. I find that... Uh, out of all of the neutrals, this doesn't really do much for me. Yeah, I, uh, it, this uh, the cover of this almost looks like a, like a, a serious autobiography, <laughs> like it's a book. <laughs> yeah, should yeah. be on the shelf at a bookstore in R the 1970s. Yeah, exactly. So let's see. Ooh, well, okay. So this has a lot of different notes. Ton of um, different notes. I don't think we really have to read them all because no, we've only got a is, quick take to spin on this. So this talks about this. They've got a thing from Sam Thompson. Ah, because the tape, the home recording on this was a home recording made in November of 73, I believe, at uh, Linda Thompson. Or right, was it at Linda Thompson's house? Or something, Sam's. Something. I don't know. One of the Thompson households. <laughs> yeah. A Thompson house. <laughs> house where Thompson lived. Um, so tell us what's on this disc, Jamie. Okay, we've got uh, In the Ghetto, take 13. You'll Think of Me, take 8. Do You Know Who I Am, take 4. If You Don't Come Back, take 5. Three Corn Patches, takes 5 and 6. Find Out What's Happening, take 7. It's Midnight, take 11. Thinking About You, take 3. You Asked Me To, take 1. Solitaire, take 7. And Talk from 6 and 7. All right. Yeah, that was what I thought when I saw it on the track listing the first time. She Thinks I Still Care takes three and four. Moody Blue takes six. Bitter They Are, Harder They Fall take one. Love Coming Down take four. For the Heart take five. Baby What You Want Me To Do. Now we're getting into the home recordings. Yeah. Baby What You Want Me To Do. I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry. Spanish Eyes. CC Writer. And That's All Right. Now, while I appreciate the concept of this disc... I am less appreciative of the execution. <laughs> I th this is very much a mixed bag in every sense of the word. Yeah. We've got some interesting takes on here, some interesting recordings. Yeah. But they're presented in such a jumble, I don't think it really does any of them justice. Yeah. I, I have a feeling that they wanted to do something with the uh, home-recorded Memphis yeah. tape. And didn't we're trying desperately to think of a context in which they could do this right. because they didn't feel it was enough to justify a full disc of just that. Yes. So they were like, okay, what can we do? Because there's only a handful of these things. Oh, maybe we'll just do a bunch of songs from Memphis. Yeah. I can see that being a through line. And as a fan, I appreciate that they tried to find some way to give us something. Right. Uh, I can appreciate that, while at the same time going, meh. Yeah, that's kind of my reaction to this disc as well. Now, this was the first time that I had heard the Thompson home recording. Yeah. And it is a really interesting one, because it's from an er it's from an era of Elvis's life that you don't usually hear home recordings. It's from the yeah. mid-70s. He does a fantastic version of I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry on there. Yeah. Heartbreaking. Yeah. And... Unfortunately, as is a uh, this is a common theme that we complain about a lot on this show, the Thompson tape on this is not complete. Oh no, no. I mean, in this case, I wouldn't expect the Thompson tape to be complete. But if that's what you're showcasing, 
Yeah. Why not? This is not an 80 minute disc. No. You could have fit those extra two songs that were cut from it onto this disc. Oh, sure. Yeah. But, I mean, everything here is a compilation. Right. And, like, we never got the home recordings complete. Like, none of the home recordings were issued complete by FTD. Right. Uh, so it would make sense. I mean, uh, because we didn't get the rest of those like that, there's no reason this would be. Right. You know, that drives me nuts as a fan. But I under but it it is consistent with the impetus to dork with things that <laughs> that really don't need dorking with. And you know, they say listening pleasure, but the fidelity on the Thompson tape is not wonderful. All right, so but let's also say yeah. if we're gonna say listening pleasure. Three corn patches <laughs> belongs nowhere near that phrase. <laughs> I enjoy three corn patches. You, know. you enjoy everything. I do. <laughs> All right. Let me tell you what you're missing on this Thompson tape. There are two performances where Elvis duets with Linda Thompson. Yeah. Including on a song called uh, Your Life Has Just Begun, which was from her sorority. And you can imagine that Elvis in 1973 was probably not especially interested in singing a sorority song, but guess what? He treats that thing with absolute seriousness and does oh, yeah. quite a good job backing her up on that. He does. And it's just interesting to hear because it, you know, it shows you Elvis was a regular guy. He had a girlfriend. He did things for his girlfriend to sure. make her happy just like everybody else. Absolutely. And yeah, I would love to have had that complete. Yeah. I do like some of the takes that are on here. Yeah. I think all of them, including three corn patches, benefit from the proper context. Yeah. Now, does this does this have the poem? And, and to, to, those do not be dis, to do not be demonetized. We're not going to repeat it. <laughs> those I of want you who've to heard it know what we're talking about. Exactly. Yeah. I an gently, ode to a robin. Go look it up. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I gently raise a window, and yeah, but, and the rest. Yeah. Exactly. Etc. 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 The. Uh, <laughs> Honey, did you have fairy? No, <laughs> fairy tale. Oh, fairy tale. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and I love how she doesn't even miss a beat. She goes, "Oh no, no, fairy tale." <laughs> he just he adds an adjective in the middle, or mm. something, a modifier in the middle, and uh, yeah, and he's like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah." And uh, she was really good about calling him on. On his jokes and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and that's such a great sort of uh, a, thing it, that they had. It's an interesting look into their relationship. You know, you can tell that they were very close. Oh, big time. And uh, it, it, it's just a very humanizing tape to hear, it, you know, in, the, in, the, it's in its entire, proper context. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, so I guess what we're trying to tell you is find the tape in its proper context. You did, this is, find the rest of these outtakes in their proper context. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sadly, the 76... Well, a lot of the 76 stuff is, is out on the classic albums, which we will get to. Right. Uh, but there's a lot of this that, sadly, is not. Uh, would love to see more of... It's, it's still amazing to me that we don't have every outtake of In the Ghetto. One day. What the hell? Uh, anyway. Um, but, yeah. So, one day. Here's hoping. But... This was uh, made in Memphis. This is our quick take look at this. Uh, honestly, you know, still in the loudness wars, not really essential. Um, if you just have to have every FTD, uh, then you know this does have some. This does have some highlights, uh, some neat things. Like I do remember enjoying the solitaire on here. Sure. Uh, the Moody Blue, I've always enjoyed. Uh, she thinks I still care. They're still trying different things. It's it's still really cool to hear that. Um, but uh, yeah, this has been, uh, most of this material, all of this material has been presented in better context, in our opinion. 
but this is not uh, a monologue, it's a conversation. So uh, did you have a favorite on this disc? Did you really enjoy this disc? And so that's cool. Hey, tell us about it. We love to hear it. We'll enjoy your enjoyment. That's I, I have no problem with that at all. And I don't mean that in a facetious way. We mean that sincerely because it's the one of the most fun things about fandom is that we all enjoy different stuff and we each get different perspectives on all that kind of thing. So that's still fun. Yeah, it's it's... I guess this is kind of an interesting curio from a certain age of FTD that I'm glad that we are past. Agreed. Um, it, 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 I can appreciate it for what it is. Yeah. But I feel this is in no way essential right now. I have a feeling, the way I look at it is that this is, this is when we're getting deeper into the era of FTD when the single disc releases like this were had kind of run their course they're you're slowly coming to an end yeah yeah they're coming to an end and they're kind of like everybody the feeling from everybody was like okay let's get on with it right you know and then the classic albums came out and it was like oh cool and now we're like get on with it <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah the again not essential but you know uh if you if you love this release tell us about it that's cool um Always very, always very cool to talk to fans who enjoy releases, whether it's stuff that we enjoyed or didn't enjoy as much. I mean, hey, when it came out, listened to all the outtakes, enjoyed all the outtakes. It became more puzzle, puzzle piece fodder that got ripped into my computer. That's where it ended up. Uh, but if you love this disc as it is, tell us about it. And if you haven't heard it, go look up the Your Life Has Just Begun song with Elvis and Linda Thompson. Yeah. Listen to that. It's... It's so charming. It's neat. <laughs> it is. Re it is. It is really neat. And I, I will say, like, it took me a little while the first time I heard it to build an appreciation. Yeah. Uh, just because I was. That's not where my brain was at the time. Uh, but it's. Yeah. It's pretty cool. But anyway, this is our quick take look at Elvis Presley made in Memphis from FTD. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, we do a quick take look every Tuesday. And of course, our main channel content, <clears throat> pardon me, our main channel content on Friday. I was still talking, but nothing came out. <laughs> the, uh, uh, so thank you so much. Uh, I am Jamie. And I'm John. And this is the EAP Society. We are not just a YouTube channel. We're a movement and we are people powered. That means you. We want to make sure that Elvis history is not lost in history and we need your help to do that like share comment subscribe on the video we really appreciate it all that good stuff all of that is free tell everybody you can about the channel and everything because once we get to 20,000 subscribers we're going to give this bad boy away this was owned by elvis presley from 1956 the statler hilton this is pretty cool it's a letter opener owned by elvis himself privately owned and uh for a couple of decades which is, well, decade and a half. Right, <laughs> to our best estimates. Yeah, yeah, to our best estimates, say early 70s, something like that. And uh, so it comes with Certificate of Authenticity, the whole nine yards. Uh, we have a lot of things. We're going to give away an Elvis Presley autograph when we hit a certain tier. We're going to be giving away FTDs when we hit a certain milestones. Uh, we're really excited, so we need your help to grow to that point so we can do all of these things. we got a lot of great huge amazing plans cannot wait to share with you all uh really appreciate it like share comment subscribe all of that is free and if you want to help support us and our endeavors and make all of this stuff happen even faster we really appreciate that best way you can do that is become a member of the elvis archival preservation society you can become a member by going to eapsociety.com click on become a member you select a tier members get videos early they get ad free videos they get extended content they get exclusive content they get all kinds of bonus Bonus stuff. Uh, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Members seem to really enjoy themselves, and that's cool. We love all of them. We love our subscribers and our members and our viewers and our watchers, and we, we really appreciate all of you. We want to make sure Elvis history is not lost to history, and we want to make sure that Elvis and the stories and the legacy and the information and all that are accessible to all ages, current generations, future generations, no matter what your budget is. Uh, Elvis was big on uh, making sure that he was accessible to everybody, and we like to kind of continue that forward as best as we can. So, yeah. But anyway, as I said, we do a Quick Take Tuesday every Tuesday, and of course, main channel content on Friday. So please be sure to check us out if you have not been here before. Welcome. And until the next video, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And always, TCB. TCB. My society, my society, here with all the friends I want to see, don't need no high society.
society to get me where I want to be. My society, yeah, that's for me. Oh, my society, yeah, that's for me. Oh, my society, yeah, that's for me. Oh,